it's off the beat. It's a deception, isn't it, yeah. JP? That that Coruscant brings, and like you say, it, it looks like so much, so minuscule, but it's those little details which gets the Fiji the opening score of the game. That's what makes the great players great, isn't it? Those small margins and everything they do in Absolutely. and around it. Master Dereki also, you know, the standoff half, he got the ball, showed the pass, got a little bit of space and put a brilliant kick through. Let's look at the Australian tries. Start with the, the 19-year-old Na Nana's <laughs> try. No, he's been doing this all season for the yeah. Cowboys and, and that, this is why he's in the team because he plays in the back row, but he, he knows his way to the trial. And, and Australia at this point in the game really needed it. That like that they were under the cost. They were they were looking clunky. They co they couldn't find a pass. They were playing out the back. The the passes were going just slightly behind the man. But they got the ball to the to the strike back row on an edge, and and he does the rest. And you can just see there, Kikau jumps upstream, doesn't he? You can see Tedesco just sniffing about. He generally comes out the back on that back run. The whole left hand side defense starts sliding. Right foot step. I think he's rescued Australia a bit there. I thought like, Australia, you know, we spoke off air. It's been over a thousand days since they played. It looked like 10,000 days since they played in the first 20 minutes. I just thought my, my, uh, previous experience played against Australia. Everybody knows the detail. Everybody's on point. No one makes school boys errors. And I thought they were full of those at the start. No one seemed to know what we're doing or where, where they were going. It, it looks clunky. like it almost looks like they've not even trained together, JP. They yeah. looked out of sorts. They, they didn't know who was supposed to, they didn't know what their role was supposed to be, who was supposed to be where the passing was going behind the and behind also on the man. The field, it doesn't look like there's an on field out and out leader. You're yeah. doing this. No general. Someone who's just but, saying, Your job's to do that. You go there. Oh, we go there. And and this is what Australia is, does so well. I, I think then though the thing with Australia, they've got players with great natural ability. We see Lateral Mitchell with the pass to Josh Adokar, don't we? To, to lead well, into that try was because just great be, athletic ability. Because Fiji were in were in great field position for, yeah. for this. But if you have a winger yeah. who has been clocked at 38.7 yeah. kilometres an hour in the NRL, you always have a get out, yeah. don't you? And, and Robbie said whilst this. we're watching this was it's like yeah. watching you in your pump. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I think with Lacho Mitchell with his six players in front of ten metres, there might be something on outside yeah. him he sees that. <laughs> I think he's guessing even I could have seen that. And then, yeah, a little bit like me with his pace and <laughs> with the dance at the end. But that's what Australia have got. They've got athletic ability as a get-out at the they moment. they can pull the rabbit out the hat as yeah. well. And in the build-up to this try, <laughs> take nothing away from James Tedesco. We spoke about the, the detail side of things, JP. And, yeah. you know, for him to clean that ball up, a ricochet off the post pad, get the ball, play it, and then the, 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 the outside backs do the rest. It's also yeah. a warning shot to the rest of the competition. If you're new to rugby league, that condensed <laughs> defence is something that happens all the time. But you can't give that okay. Ah, that space. And then we just back it up with another try there for Crichton. And I think with Crichton, the reason why he scores again is Lateral Mitchell out the back. Nagama just goes on a mission to try and find him. And um, that's what good players do. They put pressure on players around him in, in defence, even though they're not particularly doing anything. Yeah, he, he's not the, the dummy runner, so to speak, but he <laughs> certainly attracts the defender yeah. in the garment because he is such a threat with the ball. Yeah. So you, you attempt to take his time and space yeah. away, but unfortunately, the consequence of that is you leave a gap for, for Crichton to run into. Yeah. And a challenge, and challenge for Fiji is now Harry Grant on the field. You'll see him in the, in the final set of that half. He jumped out acting half four times. He's going to put a lot of pressure on the big boys around the middle of the park. Any quick play the balls, Robbie, he's jumping out and the Australian players will be learning to play with him as this tournament progresses. When Grant comes off the interchange bench, he quick play the ball, we're all going together. Let's l look at some of the areas where Australia were maybe a little bit sloppy or Fiji forced them to be a little bit sloppy. We can see here there's quite a few just unforced errors off the back of it, off great Fijian defence. So I thought Fijians manhandled Australia a little bit early on. Great defence there to stop trying. I know it was a high tackle. Great but desperation. Must, yeah, great desperation. In that... We see again. I've got to admit, just, it, it seems like one of the smallest Australian teams that I think there's, there's no one out there out and out muscling the Fijian. Yeah, Re anything, Regan, Regan Campbell Gillard will, will, will come into the team, I imagine, pretty soon. But, but, but I appreciate what, you, what you're saying, Robbie, because, yeah, they, they do seem to, to lack that general, but also the, the, the big, powerful, direct running football that we're so accustomed to seeing with this Australian team. But I think as you're watching this, people are just off the detail, just not quite there, right? Yeah. And then when they make a break, there's lots of Fijians there defending. They're playing with heart, spirit, desire. They should be commended for making this a game, I believe, Fiji, off the back of, what, a 50 nil loss the yeah, week before. absolutely, JP. Australia looked really rusty. They do. They look like they need time oh. on the ball and time in hand. And we're all wishing he scored that try, wasn't yeah. we? As he went through there, just please score that. Again, another error here. That's what, that's what I'm talking about in, look, in so many ways from Fiji, in particular, just... 
It's nearly there. We it's saw with there. Fiji last week, they, they didn't like the conditions. Maybe we've seen it with Australia. You've got to get acclimatised. This isn't Australia in the springtime. You're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was there on Monday as well. <laughs> yeah, God, culture shock for you, if ever there was one, James. Uh, the